everybody doing tonight? Sean, this is my third attempt at this uh, bullshit, but recently we moved here from Michigan. And, uh, in Michigan, I was on Pot Farm. And it's very fun. What do we live? Job, I guess you could say. Work for my buddy's uncle. He's pretty cool. It wasn't one of those, you know. Finger in the ass on both things like buy your booze and give your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I liked him, you know, and he was very cool, but he was like a crazy, um, what's the word? I don't want to get canceled. Is this word cancelable yet? He was a crazy redneck. Uh, sorry. You know, someone's in the back like, I'll resent that motherfucker. But um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I remember for a crazy redneck, and his house was badass. It was hillbilly paradise. It was. Uh, Halfway between uh, an outdoorsman's dream and a uh, Peter Member's nightmare. There's <laughs> fucking dead animals everywhere, boats, RVs, four wheelers, you name it, he's got it. He's got labs, he's got chocolate labs, yellow labs, dab labs, meth labs. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's got Peter's lab somewhere out there. Who the fuck knows? But I worked for him for a very long time, almost 10 years, and uh, I had regular jobs, you know tax paying jobs as well, but when you get paid with a fucking freezer bag full of however much this drunk uncle is going to shout full of weed every day, and all your friends smoke weed, like, that's the best job you'll ever have. So, the only thing is, I fucking hate wearing pants. Like, for us, I would never wear pants if, again, like, I would wear shorts, like, don't get it wrong, you know, don't put me on a list or anything, but I fucking hate pants. And living in Michigan, you can wear shorts for about 90 days, and then the rest of the time you walk outside, you get fucking smacked in the face. Like, go sit down, go back inside, go turn the heater on, slap every time. So, I started plotting and scheming, like, how the fuck can I move to Florida? Florida has always been, like, just a big ass Disneyland in my dreams. Like, my parents were cheap asses, they never brought us here. So, like, I just think it's a giant Disneyland. And I was kind of right, except for there's a lot of old people and meth zombies to go along with the shit, you know? Yes. But I'm, I'm dealing with it. It's, it's fucking the best decision I ever made come down here, no doubt. But uh, I had to have a way to move here. And I saved up a bunch of money to get a house or whatever, but I can't just move here and not have a job. And being an uneducated, degenerate piece of shit, the best way to get a job anywhere in America is go get your Class A CDL kids. Seriously, if you're not fully R word, you can get a CDL. And uh, if you work anywhere tomorrow, okay? So I went to uh, CDL school, and then I had to break the news to my mentor, my fake uncle, and my employer. <laughs> You know, I, I'm sorry, bro, but fuck hands, man. I don't have to fuck hands. <laughs> and, uh, he said to me, he said to me, like, he thinks he's like a crazy redneck in Nostradamus. He's always got these predictions and his great advice. Like, he'll tell you where the best fishing holes are, where the fucking cheapest blow is, the best hookers, like, things you don't even want to know. Like, you're going to learn from him. Like, he's going to tell you, listen, you might need it one day, who knows? But uh, I, I was like, you know, you had any words of advice or encouragement for me. He said, oh, you got fucking DCLs? I, I got something to tell you, boy. Uh, within your first six months driving a truck, you are going to gain at least 50 pounds. You are going to get STDs from a lot lizard. You're going to have this long hanging out your ass. And you're going to fucking kill somebody. <laughs> I was like, thank you so much for the words of encouragement. That means a lot of you, I mean, Uncle Fuck. And, uh, so, you know, I could probably stand before all of you today and say he was only right about three out of the four of those things. I'm just out here, you know, chasing my dreams. And, um, you know, dream chasing's cool. Like, my sister, she's chasing her dreams, too. She met moved to one of those towns in the Carolinas where uh, it's just a giant military base. And my sister, she just loves to fuck man in the arms for sex. She will just walk onto a fucking face with her legs wide open. She's going to take every orifice she's got. Like, boom, boom, boom. Get, get me, I'll catch them all. Like, oh my, she catches them all. But, um, I started thinking the other day, all you can do is take dick from the armed forces 24-7. Doesn't that kind of make every day Memorial Day and Veterans Day? You know what I mean? Like, I'm pretty sure my sister has done more for our armed forces 
than the USO could ever do. Like, we're not alone. We're still around our troops beyond belief, okay? And that's because she's a dream chaser. You understand? Know and uh, comedy, I, I kind of suck at it. So I've been thinking, you know, there might be one other thing I could try. Is uh, I've always wanted to play professional basketball. But I was good enough for one semester at community college, and that's about it. So I started thinking, you know, Indiana Pacers is never going to happen, but why not the Indiana Fever? We can follow in the footsteps of our great American heroes. We got Caitlyn Jenner, we got fucking. Leah Big Dong Thomas, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, if I were to do that, uh, I got questions first. Like, how many shots of estrogen do I have to take before, you know, I can try out for a WNBA team? <laughs> and, uh, and then when I take those shots, I mean, I've already got the tits for it, but do I have to cut my dick off? <laughs> if so, I mean, I wouldn't have my dick off for my own signature line of Jordans. Wouldn't you guys <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Have a great night.